AFTV, we are here outside the ground of the Colorado Rapids. Uh, it's the Dick Sporting Goods um, Stadium. And uh, this is the home of the Colorado Rapids, which of course is one of Stan Kroenke's teams. Uh, one of the many teams that he owns. He owns the Denver Nuggets here in Denver. He owns the Colorado Rapids. He's got um, a lacrosse team. He, uh, as we know, he's got the LA Rams um, in Los Angeles. He owns a whole lot of teams troops. And um, this is where the game's gonna be taking place tonight. Really interestingly, um, obviously we're hours behind, um, I think seven hours behind the UK. And when we woke up this morning, our phones were just blowing up and we saw all about this petition that has dropped today um, from various guys who've come together, uh, various groups, Black Scarf Movement, Hugh Wizzy, uh, Hugh Wizzy Le Grove, a load of them have come together and they put this petition together to basically say to Stan Kroenke, is the owner of the Colorado Rapids and of course the owner of Arsenal, to say, listen, we want to see you doing more. A very smart petition, and I have to say that. It's, it's not just come out and said, Kroenke out, you've got to go. I think they've realised that, you know, he's recently bought all the shares to the club and he's not just going to walk away just like that. But they're saying in the petition that we want to see you do more. Do you care about Arsenal Football Club, right? And that is the question that we've been even asking fans since we've been over here. And that is a question that they're asking in this petition. And let me just, uh, before I get your views on it, troops, um, I'm going to read a few bits on it. Um, it's under the hashtag, we care, do you. Mm. And um, just, you know, I'm reading a few sections of it. It says, as Arsenal fans, we've watched with frustration, frustration as the team's football performances have declined over the past decade. When Stan Kroenke began buying Arsenal shares, the club had just complete, competed in this first Champions League final. 12 years on, Arsenal are about to play in the Europa League for a third year running. Off the pitch, fans have never felt more marginalised, uh, less listened to or valued. This was sadly illustrated when Stan Kroenke forcibly bought out the last remaining share supporter shareholders without even a word of appreciation for their custodianship and role in the club. And it then goes on to say, it feels as though Arsenal is at a crossroad. Things need to change. Um, what all of us signatories to this statement want to see is meaningful action by Stan Kroenke to reinvigorate Arsenal Football Club. And then it goes on to say, this requires work to strengthen the club's board and football executive and to once again make Arsenal a place where fans have a real sense of belonging. The change needs to start with a better leadership. Um, and it then goes on to say um, various things about Stan Kroenke. Um, it says that it's sad that an institution like Arsenal FC has such a passive ownership. All of us want to see a clear sense of purpose and direction. KSC, which of course is Kroenke's company, should start by being more open and accountable and explain um, how they intend to achieve the goal of winning major trophies. And as I said, you know, you can read the whole statement. It's there. You can sign up to it. I've got to say, when I read it, I signed it straight away. Um, I signed it straight away. I can't fault anything they said in there. And as I said, it's quite intelligent what they've done because they haven't just come out and said, Kroenke out, get him out. And I know there's a lot of fans who want him out. They said, right, you've got the club now. Let's see you change. Let's see you be more transparent. And um, that's what fans want to see. And he owns a lot of clubs. Does he own too many clubs? Because as I said, this club here, Colorado Rapids, another one of his clubs. Troops, what did you make of this petition? I'm with it. Yeah? I told you already I'm with it. Man. You understand? I've wanted Kroenke out for years, blood. When I was on Wenger, I was on Kroenke as well. Because Wenger picks the team, but for me, the signings we were getting and the money that we were given was not good enough. Mm. You understand? And Kroenke is a part of that. You understand? But now he's got the club. Obviously, I still want him out. But if he does something, then you get me. You can't mm. really complain because as long as he puts the club back where it deserves to be, that's 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 all we're asking for. We're not asking for. We're not. He's moving like we're asking for 500 million, 150 million, blood. You understand? 150 million this mm. window, I think, can really improve us and we can kick on. You understand? At the start of the season, but. Who knows, fam? You understand? I was chatting to a man last night. 
at um, the Denver Guna event, you understand? Shout them out, Christy and them. But them man, they were telling me like, yo, he don't even show these man love. The Rapids don't get love, mm. you understand? He said to me, even with um, the Rams, he don't really show them love. It's a young team, it's a young manager. He kind of worked with what he had and he kind of magically mm. got them to the final, you understand? He don't really well, his invest style, yeah. in his teams, innit? His so, style is, you and you can... How can we be Arsenal Football Club in 2019 and you're telling me I have 45 million to spend, blood? Mm. Arsenal Football Club, blood, you understand? You got Leicester, you got Wolves, you got Watford, you got... I swear one season, Hull spent more money than us, blood, and they got relegated, from, you understand? Fulham, QPR, Fulham spent 100 Fulham, million last year. You understand? Year. Like, come on, bro. This is Arsenal Football Club. How can you think with what we have here, it's good enough for us to attack the goal that we need, blood? You understand? To win trophies. This is not. It's, it's, we, we, come on, man! Like this guy needs mm. to pull. Like, he needs to pull his finger. L- out his listen, arse, I think. I think um, like, the stadium looks nice. You understand? It looks nice, blood. But is the like on the pitch? Is it nice, blood? No, it's not. Listen, I think the one thing we have to remember is Stan Kroenke, and this is what a lot of the uh, fans articulated last night. That his style is very hands off. He doesn't. He's not an owner that's always there. He's not an owner who gets involved. Basically, he invests in it, or he. <laughs> he buys it or whatever, right? And then after that, he brings in people and says, "Right, you guys run it." I think <coughs> the problem is he's bought, he's made a lot of, um, and and you know what? To be fair to him, he's made a lot of changes in the past. You know, since Wenger's gone, he's brought in what you could say are some experts. I mean, he's brought in Raúl, who you know th- this guy was very very skilled with what he did at Barcelona. He's brought in now. Now Edu's come in. He's just been with the Brazil national team. He's come in to do transfer. He seems like he's bringing in some good people behind the scenes. But, but if you've got all million? these people, you've got to give them money what's this to million? enable them to succeed. Last year we had 50. This year we have 45, blood. And I, I say this all the time. It's if not you enough. look at all the top clubs in Europe that are winning things, they all spend a lot of money. There's no way around it. Manchester City, they won everything. In the Premier League, they spent the most, right? Um, Juventus spend the most money in Italy. They and win they, their league they year really in, year still. out. They, 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 they're uh, smart with it. They, but they spent, no, no, hold, hold, hold on, yeah? They Wait. spend the most money in yeah, Italy. Sad. Of all the clubs, they spend the most. In Spain, uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid spend the most. They win it all the time. Bayern Munich spend the most money in Germany. They win it nearly all the time. Celtic spend the most money in Scotland. They win it. You've got to spend. You can't come with little 45 millions and things like that. I don't care who you bring in. They could be the most skilled people in the world. You've got to back them as an owner. And I think he's not backing these guys at the moment. Not if the rumours of 45 million are true. Now, I think what these guys have done is very smart because... They've dropped it today, just ahead of the first game against the Colorado Rapids, and it puts him under pressure. He says to him, all right, fair enough, you own the club, but this summer we want to see. Prove to us that you are what you say you are. Prove to us what you're saying about winning trophies is true by backing the manager. You've got from now till the end of the transfer window, are you going to back... Emery's a good manager, but are you going to back him with the funds to bring in the guys that he needs and that is what we're going to find out and this petition from what I could see when I signed it over 30,000 people have signed it already it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger will he listen to the petition though that's the thing does he care what do you think you know what I think you get me it's hard for me to put my point across because of the way I am in it it's hard to articulate as they say you understand? But well, articulate, articulate how you feel. Bro, man, know how I feel, innit? Like, if he spends, good, innit? If you don't, then the door is there, blood. Don't let it hit your clout on the way out. <laughs> you understand? Simple as blood. Like, I've had enough of this blood. Like, why, like, people, I see people trying to get on me. Oh, truth, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, bro, I bought my kids the kit, yeah? How can I tell my six year old and my three year old, mm. no? They don't deserve that because of this mug, yeah? I'll put myself through that, yeah? I want the kit, yeah? When I saw you wear the arsehole yesterday, look at the way I looked at you. I looked at you like you little plant. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, well, I'm not buying it, blood, yeah? I don't want just Zaha, blood, yeah? Mm. I don't want just Tierney. I want more than that, blood. Because we deserve more than that, blood. You understand? We are the big... We, come on, blood. Biggest club in London. I don't care what mm. man say about Champions League. Biggest club in London, blood. Mm. And look how we're behaving, bro. You understand? Wolves can... There's a serious chance Wolves can jump, man, next year, blood. Wolves, If Leicester. they get Diego Costa, blood, you know how he yams, man, already, blood. Wolves, you understand? Leicester, they banned us last year, showing a lot home of and away, and they got four points. This yeah. year, they could actually get six, blood. A lot of these Leicester's another club as well, blood. Yep. You understand? They've kept hold of what they had and they've had a few men there. 
We need to win. Come on. It's, there's like what? Maybe 20 something days until the window's done. You understand? We're hearing the, 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 um, the t and &E bid for rejected because we're not willing mm. to put enough money up front. Mm. Why well, is listen, that? Bro. Why, why, why are we not willing to put more, more money up front? It's 25 million, blood. What's 25 mil, bro? Well, when listen, you see man like people right, right, for that kind right, of right, money, right, come on. Chill, chill, you can ask me for my opinion, innit? I'm, 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 I'm trying opinion. to give you my opinion, innit? You understand? He's getting, he's getting uh, as hyped as he, as he was bro. in the hotel. But now I get the, that, that there, what you've just seen there in troops, encapsulate the frustration of Arsenal fans right now. And we should be ahead of a season. I remember we used to be getting excited. Yeah, new season, new players, new kit, new vibe. At the moment, it's feeling very stale. It's the same players, same problems. And Stan Kroenke, all eyes are on you. Um, if you want to sign this petition, we're going to put a link in the description. Or if you just want to have a look at the, the, the petition and see what it's all about, the link is in the description, all right? And uh, we'll be here tonight. We'll be getting the views of um, some of the fans over here in the States. I must say that so far, even though we're basically in Stan Kroenke's town, which is here in Denver, I can't find many support from him, even amongst the, uh, the locals, um, for the way he's uh, carrying on at the moment at Arsenal. So let's hope that this can be a turning point. And the one thing is, you know, he can, he can do a few things that will really change fans' perceptions of him. And that's starting off by doing well in this transfer window. Um, so the link's in the description. Don't forget to check out all of our coverage here in Denver. Looking forward to meeting a load of the fans here. But this petition is getting bigger and bigger at the moment.